For thousands of years, bees have been symbols of mindless industry. We always think of them as being something like biological robots, doomed to live out their lives in lockstep, shackled to the dreary roles assigned to them by nature. This is our first contact story. It happened in a place called Brunwinkel, in rural Austria, in the early 1900s. From the time Carl von Frisch was a child, he longed to understand what the other animals knew, how they perceived the world. He wanted to know if tiny fish saw color or had a sense of smell. He invented experiments to explore animal experience, and he filmed them. Starting in the early 20th century, he was the first to use the new medium of motion pictures to create popular science entertainment and communication. For thousands of years, humans have noted the eccentric dances of the bees. But no one had ever looked at them with the kind of respect that assumed there was a reason to their dancing. Before Carl von Frisch, no one ever thought to ask why they moved this way and that way in a succession of elaborate figure eights. Von Frisch studied every tiny bee gesture and became fascinated by a mystery he couldn't explain. He would set out a dish of sugar water for a bee from his experimental hive. The bee would feast upon it before flying back home. The marked bee would later return to dine on the delicious sugar water. Von Frisch noted that in just a few hours, a multitude of other bees would join her there. They were always her fellow hive mates. But here was the really amazing thing. Von Frisch knew that the other bees had not followed the marked bee to the feeding place. How? Because he had the hive closely watched at all times. He had been careful to use sugar water and not honey, so that the bee's sense of smell could not guide them to the reward. He continued to move the dish of sugar water farther away, until it was several kilometers from the hive. Still, the hive mates would find their way to it. So how did the painted bee reveal the exact location of the sugar water with such precision that her hive mates could unerringly find their way there? There was a secret message in her choreography. What had seemed to countless generations of observers to be nothing more than the meaningless spasmodic motions of a dumb animal was actually a complex message an equation informed by mathematics, astronomy, and an acute knowledge of time, all synthesized to convey the location of the riches she hoped to share with her sisters. The dancer used the angle of our star, the sun, to indicate the general direction of the food's location. Von Frisch noted that when a bee danced straight upward, she meant fly toward the sun. And when she moved downward, she meant fly away from it. Her swivels, left and right, conveyed the food's exact coordinates in space, sometimes kilometers away. The duration of her dance, down to a fraction of a second, indicated the length of time it would take her fellow bees to get there. She even factored in wind speed to more finely calibrate the message she danced. And this was true at any time of the year, and from hive to hive, from continent to continent. Bees can do the math. 